Check one, check, check. All right. Okay, welcome back to the show. I am Seckert and this is... I'm G. Linda. Well, nice to have you back. And today's topic is going to be kind of fun, I think. What do you oh, think? Oh, really fun. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. set it off? Okay, so we're talking about social etiquette and entertaining in your home or going to other people's houses when you've been invited over for dinner. Um, and some do's and don'ts, I think. Um, so just just to clarify, so just out for dinner or, or many different areas? It's just a dinner thing? Yeah, a dinner thing. Or a games night nappies right. or stuff stuff like that. When you've right. been invited to... My friends or your friends? <laughs> it depends, and, th- and the rules change. You know, um, depending on whether we both like where we're going. Because, come on, we've, we've all been forced to go to our partner's friend's house, and maybe we don't necessarily get along with their spouse. Um, but we what go. Do you, what do you mean with their spouse? Like... They're, so if they're your friends, my you, friend's spouse, and you don't get along with my friend's spouse, or maybe you don't get along with my friend, but but I you get along with both of them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. And so you have introduced me to. Well, I would know them the same as you, right? Mm-hmm. For the same length of time, or no, not necessarily. Not, okay, not necessarily. or maybe you have, and you never liked them from the get go. Okay. Maybe you've lo- known them for thirty years, and you go. Yeah, I can't be part of that. Had this. a falling out or something, mm-hmm. disagreement, mm-hmm. something like mm-hmm. that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> so what's the angle that we're taking here? Okay, so say it's, say it's um, um, a birthday party for my friend, and you really don't want to go, but there's going to be, you know, five other couples besides us. So there'll be six or seven couples. Right. And you're not really big on going... So you start making the rules. Well, okay, we'll go for a little bit, but we'll leave by nine. But the party doesn't start till seven. And we're at the door, ringing the doorbell. Hi, but we're see, here. See, I, 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 don't, mm. I don't quite understand leave by nine type thing. So You've it, already decided you're not going to have a good time. You've already decided you're in the car, okay. we're driving there. Don't forget, we're leaving by nine because I don't want to be there. I don't want to go and I don't want to okay, be there. Okay, so I guess... For for a man, I would I would well. What's for dinner? What are we having? Are we having a uh, salad, kale bar, or something? No, or, you, right. I'm not sure that it's okay to ask them what they're they're having for dinner. Would okay, fair. Because it's not about the dinner. It's about going and socializing and spending time with them. It's right? about the drinking. Oh, well, that too. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess normally speaking, if somebody invite, if we were to invite somebody for dinner, mm-hmm. we'd say. Come on, we're having a barbecue and a barbecue, some steaks, or mm-hmm. well, you know what? We're just doing pucks and dogs, mm-hmm. that type of thing, or big roast and potatoes. We'd probably lay that out beforehand, right? Yeah, we set it up. Yeah. So if it's your friends, if mm-hmm. it's your network, then mm-hmm. you would probably know what the menu is because you're probably going to bring a dessert or something yeah. or a salad. If it's a really close friend of mine, I would. Um, because you know that I, I can eat gluten, and my girls are amazing about right. cooking gluten-free. So, yeah, they, w- they would say, you know, we're going to have um, roast and mashed potatoes. The roast is going to be made with... Right. So that's a dietary thing. Yeah. Right? Not a choice. No. So if... Okay. So if we're going to my friend's for dinner, and they're serving chicken, and chicken's not your favorite, would you go, mm, I'll pass. But if they're serving roast beef or steak, no, you're going to be I'm all not, over it? I'm not that persnickety about food I, I like food mm-hmm. right I don't particularly care for if it's a salad bar yeah I don't think I would go <laughs> I, I don't think I'd be interested in going to something like that okay, um, okay. but it depend, depends on the company um, maybe there's a good hockey game you know there's a, there's a big playoff season is on or football or mm-hmm. something sports related not that I follow a lot of sports but maybe the hot or golf or something like that you know Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or race cars, you know, the indie. So, so you would go and watch TV, and then the food wouldn't really matter. So, if it was a salad bar, it comes down to the company, right? So, okay. what, do, what do you have in common? I suppose. Okay. So, so do you think it's acceptable to ask them who else is going to be there? Maybe they're having somebody else over, and you go, "Yeah, I haven't seen these people for so long, and I love them. We're going because I want to see them." I would. I'm searching the Rolodex. I think I would undoubted, undoubtedly um, ask you who's going to be there. Well, who's going? Mm-hmm. 
that's probably the next question after what are we having mm -hmm. and who's going. So if it was a really close friend of mine, I'd ask. So if it's somebody that I, if it's a dinner party that where you're meeting new people, I probably would. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would be into going to meeting new people, so to speak. Let's say it was a dinner party for, uh, well, you don't know any of the people there other than the, the hosts and the hostess. Mm -hmm. um, but they're really fun. You've met them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've met everybody that's there, or ninety percent of the people. I would probably take your lead on that because you haven't steered me to a a, um, a bad time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if it was somebody, and you went, okay, so if so and so is going to be there, and, and you know she's really fun, uh, but he's you know uptight, dead from the asshole up type thing, or. Or just, you know that I'm going to grind a little weird with this person or just not have any, I mean, it's not going to be hostile environment. So maybe I right? shouldn't set the stage for you. I shouldn't, I shouldn't um, give everybody a persona. This person is that, this person is this. I think you'll have something in common with this person. I shouldn't set the stage for you then, is what you're saying. You find out in No, well, I'd find out on my own, but if... If you knew that somebody was there that I, mm, I'm just grinding horns with a little bit on a particular subject or something like that, um, that that we haven't you know dealt with, I mm -hmm. suppose, um, and you and you surprise attacked me with that that you knew that person was going to be there, but <laughs> but you 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 just left it out by omission. Those are party games. Those are party <laughs> games. <laughs> Um, that would probably upset me a little bit, and I, I'd probably go to the bar okay. a little more frequently okay. and think of my payback plan. <laughs> okay, and think about your escape route. How are we going to get out of here? Well, that's, you know what? Um, who's driving? Oh, Whose party is it? Oh, well, if it's my friend, my party, I think I, I get to be the passenger on the way home. So I have to watch the intake mm -hmm. of alcohol, mm -hmm. even though you surprise attacked me with somebody that that I'm not going to particularly. I would meet. never surprise attack you. Right, that's right. You wouldn't. Hmm. And you know what? You know what's really cool about you saying that hmm. is we have this episode to go back to in future. If you do ever surprise <laughs> attack me, <laughs> it's almost like a a vow. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it's interesting. I, I mean, the dynamics of a dinner party can be many things. They can be a lot of fun. It can be, how about this? Okay, so not meaning to steal your topic here. How about if you plan to go to the party and you kind of think, you know what, it's going to be a, it's going to be a shitty time. Like, I'm really not going to get anything out of this party and because it's all about me, you know, and, and, and then you go and, and you just have the best time. Those, those, those. Well, I don't know why you, why, why you would start out of the gate thinking this is not going to be a good time. Why would, why would you even put that in your head before well, you even leave? I don't know. Maybe I was busy at home doing something. It's a very selfish way of thinking, right? It's, you know, maybe I'm busy at home working on a project or something like that. And, and I just want to get it done. But you, you not force me, but you, you very... Highly suggest Highly it. suggest it. You motivate me, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you make me enthusiastic about things I didn't know I could be enthusiastic about. <laughs> and Like a salad bar. Yeah, and then I go and, and then somebody shows up I haven't seen in like super long time. And you just, you know what? I might even come to you and say, babe, you know what? I know it's your party, <laughs> but I think it's an Uber name. <laughs> be right? Because those, those. And that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Mm hmm it has to be okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to be flexible, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If if you're not flexible, what are you? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Right? Inflexible. Yeah. Kind of like that, right? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So that that's cool. Dinner. I like dinner parties. I do. And and I know you're uh, kind of a gamey person. I love party games. Party games. Party games. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. and we have a group that loves to play games. I yeah. love games yeah. night nappies. I think you'd get along with my mother. You know that. I think I might. I think you might. <laughs> I think now, your mom's that, kind of the queen of parties. Is it? So is it? A, is it? A, 
what is that? That's a control enthusiast, is it not? No, I don't have to cr control the party games, but I love inventing party games. Because um, right. a lot of times when you go to an event, um, you see people that aren't getting engaged, maybe not visiting very much or whatever. And icebreakers, just to get everybody mixing and whatever. What, like wear a name tag and stuff, icebreakers? Uh, or? No, no. no. Um, mm. And pairing people off, unlikely people that um, would never... Uh, don't have a lot in common, and you and you pair them together as partners. This sounds corporate all of a sudden. No, like no, yeah. it's totally not corporate. Team building, one hundred and one. What is team building? No but bullshit. It's like it's party building. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And of course, it's always fun playing boys against the girls. Always in Kaiser and you know what categories you cannot. I'm, I'm cutting you off, and you're pointing at me. I am because this is very matter of fact. What? You cannot be. Your spouse's partner in any game. Never. Never. No. 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 That doesn't work. No. Nope. Um, I don't care who you think you That's are. That's silent treatment for two days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I, ca I can't believe you gave me the three or schluffed the five or like, where's your head? Mm -hmm. You know, that type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. That creates yeah. episodes. Uh, you know what? <laughs> it yeah. creates incidents. Is, incidents. What, yeah. inc and there's an incident report. Yeah. Um, okay, so so getting back to um, socializing, um, what is the protocol for hostess gifts or not? Um, if it's your best friend versus maybe you're going to somebody's house that you, one of you knows, mm -hmm. but nobody knows their partner, and it's just going to be the four of you for dinner. You're talking a bottle of wine or something yeah. like that? Yeah, because I always think it's appropriate to take a bottle of wine or some flowers or some, some Belgian chocolates or fancy napkins or something. Because, um, of course, everybody always says, oh, don't bring a thing, I've got it. So the uh, last four items that you just mentioned, mm -hmm. I've, I've never, I don't even know those words. Yet? Waffles, Belgian waffles, chocolates. Belgian chocolates. Chocolates. Yeah. Um, I would think bottle of wine. That's mm -hmm. as far as my. You don't drink wine. That no, I don't. I'd bring a box of beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a good hostess gift because not everybody drinks beer and it's too casual. But I mean, not nice everybody drinks beer. Who? Or what kind of people are we hanging out with that they don't, don't drink, drink beer. beer? I don't drink beer. Well, you're not the hostess with the mostess. Uh, you know what? If somebody came to my door for a dinner party and brought a case of beer. Come on in. And, and you know, and that's fine if you're drinking beer, but that's. Yeah. So it's about you. It's not about no. Well, take something nice me, for your yeah. hostess. Flowers. Flowers are always good, but nothing too smelly. What do you mean? Oh, so it's for the it's for the female. No. You just said no. Take something nice for the hostess. Not I drink wine and eat chocolates no, and no, like no. flowers. Back it up. Back it up. You said the hostess. Mm -hmm. A host can't host. A host can't be a hostess. No. So it's okay. Divide and conquer. What, are you That's bring what a I'm box hearing. Of golf balls. Well, actually, that would work. Well, like if golf. if the guy is throwing the party, because it's the guy friend, mm -hmm. and the guy's doing a lot of the meal prep and and barbecuing and, and and you know stuff like, and he brings a box of cigars and and six beer. Like how you wouldn't you would think that was a a dumb gift. You know, if that was if that was your friend that was coming over for dinner and they brought that for you because yeah. they know you like that. Yeah. Great. That's great. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that to one of my girls. I'd take chocolates. Again, the, the girls. Mm -hmm. You're saying to one of your girls. So you don't have any guy friends? No. So they, I, I'm assuming your girls have husbands. Mm -hmm. You don't like them? Mm -hmm. Or what? I do. Well, then why can't you take something for the guy? Chocolates. Oh, chocolates. Yeah. Chocolates doesn't go with booze, beer. No. I wouldn't take beer. Yeah. No. Hmm. So we're okay. not going to agree so on that. So the other thing is, when, when, when you go to So you're, that's, okay, well, hang on. Hmm. So you will take care of all partying gifts and par party gifts, host hostess gifts. Yes. yes. So I don't ever have to worry about no. it. No, no. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So the other thing is when mm -hmm. when you tell somebody and you know what this <laughs> this reminds me of a uh, everybody loves what, what was that everybody loves Raymond <laughs> episode if you haven't seen it you gotta watch it so Deborah decides that she's gonna serve a salmon for Thanksgiving and she tells Marie not to bring anything right the doorbell rings Marie walks in with a fully stuffed and dressed turkey already cooked and. Deborah is shocked. 
She said, Marie, I told you we were having salmon. She goes, Deborah, you can't serve salmon for Thanksgiving. And she puts the, the turkey in the middle of the table. Now that's rude. So if, if somebody says, don't bring anything, is it rude to actually bring something? Like maybe you just made cupcakes that day, so you, you take six or eight cupcakes. I, I've done that. I've done that before. What can I bring? Mm -hmm. Nothing. You know what? Just BYOB, if you if you got a particular drink you yeah. like to drink because yeah. you don't have a fully stocked yeah, and bar. Yeah, that's, and that's pretty common. Right? Uh, but just just show up. You know what? I just I just want you to be here. I mm -hmm. just want you to share to share the day with me or, yeah. mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm hmm and has anybody ever brought something because you've made a beautiful trifle or creme brulee or something and somebody shows up with a cheesecake and do you I, go, do I look, creme brulee. Do I look like a creme brulee or a trifle oh, guy? Like, come on. the best. <laughs> no? No. No, I so don't think so, so. So when, you're, when your host and hostess tell you not to bring anything, you should not bring. Yeah. What if they bring their dog? Uh, oh. Well. Or their kids. To an adult party? Well, didn't specify. Uh, you should never, ever assume that your children are invited. Ever. Ever. Mm -mm. No? Nope. What if you show up and you go, you know, I couldn't get a sitter? Mm. You should probably phone ahead, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never mm. assume that your children are invited to a dinner party. Unless, unless the people that invited you have children, young children. Right. Oh, we did that years they're, they're, and years you know, ago. Themselves, Friends right? would come over yeah. with young kids, and we'd, yeah. we'd put the TV on in the master bedroom, and the kids would line up and, and watch a movie or whatever. P -p totally acceptable. But, okay. But, um, yeah, always ask your hostess if your children are invited. Always. Yeah. There is nothing worse to Those ruin a points. dinner party. Those are good points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else you got? BYOB. Yeah. Bring your own beer. Have you ever been asked to bring your own meat? Sorry, have I ever been asked to do what? To bring your own meat. Oh, yeah, I have. Um, bring your own meat. Um, after all these years, I still have a tough time with that one. It, you know what? It's, it's a running joke. Um, mm -hmm. I, I just can't get past that. Uh, bring your own meat. So come, we want you to come, but bring your own meat. You don't mind, right? Um, should I just stay home? It's just, I think it's rude. It is rude. And so it, you've made it's, this. It's rude. You've made the vegetables, the salad, the dessert, and yeah. all the other stuff. And if you can't afford to host a dinner party, then serve hot dogs. Bring your own meat is only like to a barbecue. It's got to be, right? It has to be. Well, and the thing is. Like um, you're not going to say bring your own meat if I'm serving a turkey or. Or, mm -hmm. uh, or a roast or mm -hmm. something, right? Because that, that's but, just Okay, weird. so I, I know people that don't eat pork or don't eat beef or whatever. So, so yeah. if, I'm, if I'm serving a ham, I will tell the person that doesn't eat pork, I'm right. serving ham. Right. They may, might want to bring a piece of salmon or a piece of chicken yeah. or something else to eat. Well, who doesn't eat ham, though? I mean, come on, doesn't it, no, not everybody no, likes not ham? not everybody eats ham, and I have a really good peep in my life that doesn't eat beef. So if I was... But I know that. And if I was having a barbecue and I was serving steak, I'd have a piece of chicken for her. Because okay. um, I'm very adaptable to, to people's diets and stuff like that, right? Um, because I'm very needy when it comes to my diet, being that I'm gluten-free. But it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. But no. it can be bad. It can be bad. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it can be bad. Um, yeah. But my very close peeps are so accommodating for that, and I always appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But I would, never, I would never cook something knowing full well one of my peeps can't eat it without warning them in advance or having an alternative for right, them. Right, right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Makes sense. It's like sense. you don't want to put yeah. peanuts in a salad if you know somebody's allergic to peanuts. You did that, but you didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know. I put nuts in a salad and, and my girlfriend's husband yeah. couldn't eat it. Those nuts. But you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know what? It's just, uh, it's interesting. I, I would be curious to know um, how people deal with outings like this mm -hmm. to our... Mm -hmm. So sometimes we do go to um, social events with our partner that we don't particularly want to go with, uh, uh, go to, mm -hmm. but we do that for the partner. Because if you know your partner really wants to go to a, a birthday party or a corporate function yeah. or whatever, and you don't, that's a small sacrifice just to go with them so that they can have a good time, right? Well, We've it, all done it. 
I wouldn't call it a sacrifice. Um, I think Too if, harsh? Yeah, I think if you're looking at it as a sacrifice, you might have deeper issues. <laughs> you might be with the, with the wrong partner. You might be with the wrong person. Because mm-hmm. um, you can go there and make fun with just the two of you in an uncomfortable situation or a situation that one of you doesn't want to be in. You can, yeah, you can, as long as you keep it respectful. So it, it, let's of say, course. let's say we're going to said place that I don't really want to go, mm-hmm. and you know that I don't want to be there, but I'm there. Uh, so I might be a little more quiet. I might be pouty, you know, a little pouty, right? I might be a little bit pouty or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you're not going to call me out, right? No, publicly. And, and you know what the other thing like is, you're I, not, you're not going to be difficult and and call me out like no and i wouldn't leave you in the corner i wouldn't leave you in the corner nobody's talking to you because you're right you're having an adult hissy fit is that what they are yeah yeah mm-hmm. okay boys have those <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah women have them too boy that <laughs> it just looks a little different that's yeah. all <laughs> yeah so awesome so yeah. good tips. anything else you'd like to add I don't know. I don't think so. I don't... Uh, am I missing something? I'll let you know if you are. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we've nailed this topic. So we'd love to hear how you manage um, social outings and social gatherings that that uh, happen at your house, at your friend's house. You know house. what? I do have one thing to add. Of course you do, because you always have to have the last say. I kind of do. Okay, well... Um, what what if your spouse says to you, "You ask me to go, and you know it's a it's a tough sell. You already know that, right, ahead of time." And I say, "You know what? You'll have better time on your own. How about you just go?" Mm-hmm. Does that cause a fight? Like, is it's got the potential to cause one, I suppose. Well, you know what? You're not going to stop me from going. So if you choose not to go, of course I'm going to. I'm going to um, <laughs> I'm going to try and convince you right. to come because I want you to come because I want to have fun. But I, you're what, uh, if you made a decision not to go, that's not stopping. What, me what if I know I'm? Oh, it's my party. Yeah. And I know you're not going to get along with said people. Yeah. Or person. So I, I start with that as my sales pitch, going because you it, don't want me to come with you. That's right. Because I don't oh. want you to come. Because I might have a better time if you don't come because I I get along with this other person, but I know it's oil and water with you and you'll never you'll never see eye to eye on anything. But I still wanna go because I haven't seen, you know, most of the other party in in a while and it's just fun, right? Mm-hmm. All my all my guys are there, all my my band guys or whatever, right? And you just wanna go and have fun, but I know that you're gonna be super poopy pants in the corner and that's going to hinder on my fun. That's a real situation too. Right? Not saying with you. And I don't get another chance to have fun because I was poopy pants once. Well, let's say more than once probably. But you've already you've already made your mind up that mm, you're not going to hmm. you're just not going to have a good time. So do you Give me that out, or do you hold that against me? I guess you want to process. Go that, ahead and have like. fun, but I, I can't relate to that. I can't adjust myself into that. You've never had that experience. No. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> I I I don't know what to say to that. I don't think there is anything to say. Well, that's a real. That's a real. That's a real issue for a lot of people. Hmm. But I, again, the problem probably lies a little deeper mm-hmm. than uh, I'm just going to make sure you're not going to have a good time type thing, right? That's a real thing, man. No. Yeah, I, I that's don't get a that. real thing. Hmm. Okay, so it's all flowers and sunshine for you. Is that what you're saying? Chocolates. And chocolates and wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, sorry, you were Can't go wrong you were that. trying to close the show and I had to just add that last little piece there. I'll let you proce- process that for a yeah. little bit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I might be able to show you what that looks like. That you could probably experience that. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna like that. <laughs> no, probably <Fucker>. not. 
Okay, I think we've nailed this topic. So for Let's Talk About That, I'm G. Linda, and make sure to live your best life. And I am Seckert, and remember, you can only be good to other people if you're good to yourself first. So look within and make it happen. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you later. <laughs>